It's not about the external factors that give you happiness. You will soon realize that no matter where you go in the world, you will never find a foundation of inner bliss. If you say my husband will make me happy, if you say my children will make me happy, or if you say if I go to Florida or Miami or Spain and that place like the beaches and the palm trees and all of these beautiful sceneries and the waterfalls, if I go there, I will be happy there. Once you go there, you realize, oh, TV so hai. You realize, oh, TV nahi so hai. But jena ne andar da anand paalya na, pyaare paana mandra ke the sokha nahi hai. But jena ne mandya unhano bhot sokha hai. It is not easy to accept and live in God's will from our perspective. But those that do live in it, they are just an anand. Oh, hey, anand which Guru Amar Das Ji can say, "Tum ina mino anand mein chalne aaye." It's time, my time to go. I am in anand. Tum dariyao dana bina, main machli kaise ant laha? जह जह देखा तह तह तू है तुझ ते निकसी फूट मरा मूक उच रह शास्त्र खट पिंग गिरन चढ़ जाए अंध लख बद रो सुन जो काल कृपा कराए कहा बुद्ध प्रभ तुच्छ हमारी वर्ण सके महिमा जो दिहारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी सतनाम श्री वाहे गुरु मेरे सिख सुनो पुत भाई हो मेरे हर पाणा आओ मैं पास जियो हर पाणा गुर पाया मेरा हर प्रभ करे साबास जियो भगत सतगुरु पुरख सोई जिस हर प्रभ पाणा पावे आनंद अनहद वजह वाजे हर आप गल मेलावे ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਤ ਭਾਈ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਨ ਵੇਖੋ ਕਰ ਨਿਰਜਾਸ ਜੀਓ ਤੁਰ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਪਰਵਾਣਾ ਫਿਰੈ ਨਾਹੀ ਗੁਰ ਜਾਵੇ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਪਾਸ ਜੀਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਤ ਭਾਈ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਮੇਰਾ मन वेखो कर निरजास जियो तुर लिखिया परवाना फिरे नाही गुर जाए हर प्रभ पास जियो राजा न राज पानान पान देवान देव उपमा महान चबर छत्र तख दान दे मालिक काल पुरख दे सरगुण स्वरूप ज्योति अनूप गोविंद रूप तन 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 श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब महाराज जी दी निकी गोद विच जुड़ बैठे गुरु प्यारी साथ संगत जी महाराज इज ब्लेस्ड अस विद दीस ऑस्पिशियस मोमेंट्स टू बी एबल टू सिट इन गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी हजूरी जस्ट लाइक द गुरुमुख्स हैव डन हुकम टू दास ओवर द लास्ट कपल ऑफ डेज व्हाट वी हैव बीन डूइंग is over the various divans going through a bani called ram kali sad this bani appears in guru granth sahib ji immediately after anand sahib and sad is another name for sadda meaning a call and this call came upon guru amar das ji maharaj when they are about 94 95 years old when they are physically leaving this body live physically leaving this world and aaj aap aap pyare ho today we're going to be going through the third party of that of that bani apan vichar aram kar to pehla apan hath jodiye 
fold our hands, focus our, our attention with love upon the lotus feet of Tan Tan Sri Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, Tan Tan Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj. Tina de bakshi hoy pandariya vich apan sab to pehla gaj baj ke fate bulauni hai. Gaj ke fate bulao ji, Wahe Guru Ji ka khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji ki fate. Guru Amar Das Ji Satche Paatshah, in Gondwal Sahib, ona ne zindagi par ke me sevama nubaiya, Guru Gaddi te varajman hoye, Akal Purk the Srup Khod Aap Narayan Kala Atar Jag Mahim Parvariyo They are the form of Akal Purk within the world itself. Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj when they traveled to Goindwal Sahib towards their sons Baba Mohan Ji, Baba Mohari Ji to go and collect Pothiya. There when they sat down they saw the places, the houses of Baba Amar Das Ji and even their father Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj. And they had this desire to hear the final moments of Guru Amar Das Ji's life from the words of their family of how it actually happened. Vasi Guru Sahib is Jani Jani, they know everything. But Fairvi Onane ek Surupa Vajon Pet Kita, this Bani is recited, that's why the name comes at the bottom, Kehe Sundar instead of Kehe Nanak. Because Sundar was the great grandson of Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj. Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, their sons Baba Muhri Ji, Baba Mohan Ji, and their son, their grandson, Anandaji, and then their great grandson, the son of Anandaji, was Sundarji. So Sundarji is reciting these words, and Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj included these beautiful words inside of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. And keep this in mind, Pariyo, we read Anand Sahib every morning, every evening, at the end of every Divan. When a child is born, we read Anand Sahib for bliss. Then when Somebody's a Nandakaraj, a marriage takes place, we read Anand Sahib. Then somebody graduates, we do a Sukhpani Sahib the part, we do a Khand part at home, guess what happens? We read Anand Sahib. Then after somebody passes away, we read Anand Sahib again. <laughs> that there is bliss in the life of a Gursik regardless of the situation. It doesn't matter if it's a good day or it was a good day at work or it's a bad day at work. Ohi Anand The unwavering, unchanging. And Pyaryo, in this Pada, Pishle Padi Vech Vaisi Apam Vichar Kiti, how Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, they did this Ardas towards the Creator for the protection, for their Paj. Sat Gur Kare Har Peh Benati, Meri Paj Rakho Ardas Jiyo. They say, O Akal Purk, I do this ardas of mine that you protect my honor. There's something to recognize about this. That paj in what we consider honor in this world is very different to what the saints, to what the Pagats consider paj and honor. When we read in Gurbani, there are many words even written towards great saints like Pagat Kabirji and Faridji, or even Guru Nanak Devji Maharaj in which the world might say that is disrespectful and the people and the world have disrespected them. Someone says this one, that this person is possessed. Why? Because they sit in the corner, they don't talk to anybody. When Guru Nanak Dev Ji was a child, they said this person's different to this way of this world. This person's not like us. Why doesn't he sit and play with his friends? Why does he not go and eat and enjoy the luxuries and the delicacies of the world? Why does he decide to sit on the outskirts in this state of detachment all day long? Some, the way he talks, it's even about things that are beyond this world. This person's possessed. They would say, this person's not walking on the beats of life. He's offbeat. Even when we read the Gurbani, we read, Mus mus rove kabir ki mahi. Pagat Kabir Ji's mother cries and she says, What has happened to my son? And the words say that ever since my son picked up this mala, I've never experienced happiness in my life. All the happiness in my family went away. And you might be thinking, What do you mean? Grabbing a mala, that sounds like a great thing. He's meditating, he's doing simran. But this is from the perspective of that mother. 
tanana bunana tiyagte hai that tanana bunana meaning the days of the task a child that maybe has stopped doing homework has decided not to go to work anymore has decided to not attend the family functions but instead sits in the corner and recites god's name all day and from a mother's perspective even today you might say sada nyana kharab ho gaya our child is not listening to us why does he spend all evening all night he knows he has an exam in the morning but he spends all night at the ranch by kirtan they say this this kid needs you know it's better he's not out doing drugs but still he needs to do his homework so even today you hear it they say you know what you're getting religious oh no now you're getting too religious or oh, now you know you meditating doing a little bit of bani in the morning that was okay or now since you saw you started wearing a kafan and you started going to the gurdwara and now you know you you're not coming to the parties anymore you're not you stopped drinking as well what will your cousin how are you going to you're going to break away from your cousins sometimes parents begin to worry because they're tied down by other things and this way the words that are written in gurbani and that way you might look at that and say well that's kind of not respectful towards duniya di laaj the world is not praising bhagat kabir ji there they're not praising guru nanak dev ji there in fact guru nanak dev ji themselves they say niche andar niche jat niche hu at niche i sit amongst the lowest of the low not amongst the highest of the high but pehaj ki cheez ho sakdi hai this honor that we beg for may not be the worldly honor it's not the worldly honor that we might sit th- think in lamborghinis and high fi class and all of that kind of stuff maraj oh bhi pehaj de dinde hai niche uch kare mera gobind maraj has the ability to take somebody from the lowest of the low and take them to the highest of the high but not only in the physical sense but even to the extent jin manas te devte ki hai kartana lagi var taking somebody from becoming a mere mortal and making them into angels now that's just not giving somebody lamborghini is it that doesn't classify somebody as a devta jin manas te devte ki hai but maharaj on the other side they also speak about sultana ka ho karainda the maharaj can take some those that are from the highest of the high and make them the lowest of the low those that are great kings eventually they might be eating grass one day as well if that is in the hukum of akalpurk so pahaj rakhni what is the pahaj halat palat sawar hai we ask for that protection of that pahaj and the robes of honor through akalpurk's name and not only in this world but beyond as well in this ardas and that final moment imagine yourself if you had to leave this world immediately what robes of honor what badge what honor are you seeking in your last moment and o ardas apan pyare o paana o ek beenti keho ji guru amar das ji maharaj ne kiti we spoke about pichle diwan de vich jinna ne nahi sarvan ki thi youtube channel te sun leyo par aaj pyare ho main beenti kara these words that guru amar das ji maharaj and now i want you to visualize this because sometimes we think in our life that when the time comes for me to pass away oh yeah i will remember god then odo mai rab nu cheta kar lunga i will remember god because i know in gurbani it says in the last moments if we remember god then we will become mukt i don't need to do anything for the rest of my life and on the last moments i'll remember but pyare ho inna sokha nahi it's not that simple in the moments you pass away you might be thinking about oh i forgot to have get, apply for life insurance oh i forgot to write my will for my children oh i forgot to do something else there will be a million things that you will think about in your moment of passing as soon as your heart starts feeling a little bit heavy rab da naam and detaching from the world has to happen through a state of molding throughout your entire life in pyare ek binti kara that this experience of sikhi i think we fall under a little bit of doubt to fail and failure to understand this just from us not learning it properly or maybe misperception the way that we have been taught sikhi or presented sikhi from before sometimes we find that many sikhs think that you just have to live a reasonably good life be a great person and just believe in the back of your mind upon guru nanak dev ji maharaj and then when you pass away then you'll go to a court and utthe thoda likha jokha shayad ho juga and then you'll find out if you can experience mukti or not par maharaj tusi sukhmani sahib de vich eh bachan karde ha prab ki aagya aatm hitav hai jeevan mukt so kahave that person is dead while alive the person that is submitted 
their entire mind, their entire life, tan manata tan sab somb gurko hukum neya paiya. They've given their entire life. They've become jivan mukand, liberated while yet alive. And this experience of Nam Simran is happening here. Those saints that never forget God's name or that experience through every breath of theirs and every morsel of food. Jina saas garas na vaisra har naam ma man mant tan se sehi nanaka puran sohi sant. Those are the great saints because they're experiencing it here. When they leave this body itself, they are fully connected and in tune. But the five elemental body in the world that we live in, that's created of just the duality, what sees, what you see is exactly not necessarily there. Jaisa maniya hoye na taisa. But if in tuned, in, in, internally in tuned with Pramatma, the home is lost, the veils of falsehood, the veils of separation are separated. Then koon mua, re koon mua, brahm gyanni mil karo bichara. E to chalat paya, because this body itself, is going to deteriorate. It is made of air, fire, water, earth, space, the five elements that create this entire world. And you are made of those same five elements as well. The only difference is that Kalpuruk and that Homme does not exist out there, but through your lens of Homme within yourself, you perceive the Creator to not exist there through your lens. It is like there's a light bulb. But in front of this light bulb, you can put whatever filters and colors you want. And the more filters and colors you put, the darker that light will become. But jadi shakti vartri ya upramatma, our awareness can only exist if the Creator's awareness exists. Just like the sand castle cannot exist without the sand. The wave cannot exist without the water. The tornado cannot exist without the air. In the same way, Pyareo, our awareness, our Chaitanta cannot exist without the Supreme Chaitanta, the Supreme Consciousness. So when we bring it back to this, Pavani mein pavan samaya, Jyoti mein jyotral jaya, Mati mati hoi ek rovan har ki kavan tek, Kaun muare, kaun mua, mil brahm gyanni mil karu bichara, O enlightened beings, consider this. Vichar this, talk, speak about it, contemplate this. How is this possible? This is the mystery put to us. To accept that will, to see that in that last moment, what, we, what is going to be your thought? Because you must experience it throughout this life. Somebody said, why did we come into this world? Why did God, God create the world when everything is in the, it was in the, within the Creator's hands anyways? That you are playing this game, O oh Mola, O oh my Creator. Why do you separate as some Sufi saint out of so much love? They said, Agalpur created the separation to experience the union themselves. Because if there was no separation, there could not exist union. If there is no cold, then there's no hot. If there's no up, there's no down. Through duality and through separation and union is the Creator experiencing the Creator. But that takes a level of understanding to see because in our life and through the filters that we put, we only see a one perspective thing. Maharaj, through my lens of my, my life and the struggles that I'm facing, the dukh, the pains that I want to have alleviated, this doesn't answer any of those questions. This doesn't answer how I get that, how do, how do I feel free the, from the pains that I'm experiencing. But Maharaj is going above and beyond that to give you that realization that there is no you to experience the pain. Jab hum hote tab tu nahi, ab tu hi main nahi. When there was me, then it was just me. There was no you. I want you to think deeply on this. As if this was your last moment of your breath. When there was just me, then there was, just, there was no you. But now and through this experience, Maharaj, you've blessed me. Now there's just you and there's no me anymore. So what darshan and what vision of Akal Parka are you having now? Paramatma de kis prakar de darshan kar rahi hai? The omnipresent form that is with and inside of us, the one that is the form of truth, the form of bliss, the form of awareness themselves. So with these words, know this experience of Baba Amar Das Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, fully connected to the Creator, in one, they are the form of the Creator, they know this and they call their family around and this Pada, that is what Guru Sahib Satya Pacha, that is what they are speaking to their family. So, Let's close our eyes.
open our ears. You can follow along on the screen if you want. And let's read through this pada once again. This charan once again. And then we'll begin the vichar around it. Mere sikh suno put pai ho Mere har paana ao mein paas jiyo Har paana gur paaya Mera har prab kare sa baas jiyo Pagat sat gur purkh soi Jis har prab paana paavaye Anand anhad vajah vajay Har aap gal me lavay Tusi put pai parwar mera Man vikho kar nirjas jiyo Tur likhya parwana firay nahi Gur jaye har prab paas jiyo Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, after doing this ardas, this binti to the Creator themselves, they call upon their family. They say, you owe my Sikhs, owe my students, owe my disciples. You are my children. You are my brothers. You are each other's brothers. Baba Mohari Ji, Baba Mohan Ji, Baba Anand Ji. All of them are being called. And sometimes you've seen in many families as well. Sometimes there's an elder that lives to 80, 90, 100 years old. Sometimes that elder does not even know whose grandchildren came from which child. Because there's so many of them. Sometimes you've seen grandmothers. I remember my great grandmother when I met her. She actually lived here in the UK and I didn't even know she lived here because there was <laughs> such a long lineage to get to her, our great-grandmother. You know, when I came to came here and met her, she's passed away now, but when I met her, her first question was like, Which lineage do you come from? Because she's probably thinking, which out of the 15 lineages do you come from? And then I said my dad's name and she still didn't get it. She's like, Who, whose is he? Oh, Kedaya. And then I had to say my grandfather's name. And then he was like, oh, then she's like, oh, okay, I get it, who's you, who, who's, which, which side you're from. She was able to visualize it. Because she had 15, 16 different families. And then they grew, their great, great grandchildren. And then I had my own children then. So those are the great, 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 great grandchildren that she had. So sometimes the families are very, very vast. And you see from one woman, Sometimes there's 70 or 60 jeeves, beings, that are gathering around these birthdays, or gathering around these funerals. Imagine Baba Amar Das Ji at the age of 94, 95 years old, calling their entire family and giving them sikhya. Just like your elder might call you. Sits down with you, or imagine yourself, you've grown old now, if you've been blessed with that many breaths. Sarnu kal da pata, we don't know if we're going to go home and have dinner tonight. Har japdiya khine tel na ki jai meri jindariye mat ke japa sao aave ki na aave ram. We don't know that the breath that just went inside of us. We don't know if it's going to leave us tomorrow. And you've seen many videos of great kirtanis. They've they've passed away in Guru's darbar doing kirtan. I know many of my brothers and sisters today. They they're so inspired. They love kirtan and katha so much. And their only ardas is Maharaj, may my last breath be when I'm singing your kirtan. We don't know if we're able, ever going to walk out of this darbar even. There's no guarantee of that. So then why delay on doing similar game? I'll do it when I'm older. If you ask the bajorg, they say, And they regret that when I was younger, why didn't I memorize the Gurbani? Why didn't I memorize my Nitani when I was younger? Because now I don't have the mental strength to be able to do it. Why don't I go and run around and do seva when I was younger? Because now I don't have the strength. I need people to do seva of me now. This is what the elders might say. So Baba Amar Das Ji calls everybody around and says, Mere pote, oh my children, listen to me, come close to me. Mere harpana, it's time for me to go now. In today we look at those 
that have spent their entire life doing Simran. In Jide Tusi Sangat Vich Vichar you've known sometimes these great beings, these great Kirtanis or great Sevadars of the Panth, they've lived on towards 80, 90 years old. And then they're on their deathbed. And this is sometimes I feel quite, it's quite unfortunate for those that are joining new into Sikhi. I feel this is a blind spot for those that are entering Sikhi and just being inspired today because you won't know their legacies. Because they've been doing it for, since the 70s, 60s, the seva that they've done their entire life. And sometimes you, we come into Sikhi and maybe you just see somebody like myself on YouTube. But you don't see the people that we learned from and the sevas that they've done for the last 70 years. Because, oh, that's just an old man holding a cane, laying in a bed. What did they do? We, that we have no connection to that person. But if you really look, nowadays it gets a little bit more recorded because it's all online. But if you look back and those great saints and sevadars and kirtanis that have done 60 years of seva at Darbar Sahib, 100 years of seva of the Panth in various different ways, these that they have Gurbani, all of Gurbani memorized. The depths of the meanings and, the, and their spiritual saints and guides that have, have guided people like myself. My entire life, I, I can't imagine my life without it. And when they're laying in their bed, they do the same thing. They say, Sare mere kol aajo. Let's do Kirtan before I go. Sometimes they even know that it's about, I've got about a week left. They've said, come to my wedding next week. And we were like, Baba ji, to see And then, we're, oh, we know what you're saying. And then we went running. Casually, they just, they would just say it casually. They would come from India to Canada. And then when they'd arrive, we said, Baba ji, we're so great to have you here. Let's do your seva. Teach us something. And when they go, they said, you know, I thought one last time I'd just visit. I should meet all you things before I go. And we're like, what do you mean one last time? This is what I mean. The Gurmukhs know. We had death preordained and written upon us. If somebody went, to, somebody called Maskinji, and I'm sharing this story yesterday as well. Maskinji ne kaise ne phone kita. Somebody called Maskinji, and they said, "Can you tell me my future?" And Maskinji said, "Actually, I, yeah, I can tell you your future." He's like, "Really? You can tell me my future?" Okay, how much do you want me to pay you? Maskinji said, "You don't need to pay me. I'll do it for free." Oh, so when can I come? When can you tell me my future? Mera pa bekh kadon das sakdeya. Maskinji, I'll tell you right now on the phone. Acha, hone phone te das dungi. You'll tell me my future. He's like, "Huh? Hone das dene." Okay, Maskinji, das so minu. What is my future? What does my future hold? And Maskinji replies, "He said, 'Sing tu marna ya. Aku sat na am se yo ekar.' That you're gonna die is what they said. They said that is the future. It's guaranteed for all of us." Sometimes we're so worried about what's going to happen next in the next five years, but we're not really looking at the end. It's standing there. So put yourself in that place. It is God's will. And even with God's will, they say, that my Parameshwar is giving me in this Shabashi that Guru Sahib has accepted this command and will. My Binti Kiti Sikal, that sometimes when we say will, God's will, we, we fail to understand the depth of this. And we have to break this down into almost three mental steps. There's one stage when something happens in the world something that you might consider negative. If, it, if it's considered positive, you'll, you'll never say it's parna. You'll just say, oh man, kita siga. You know, you consider it a blessing. But parna is just Kalpurit's command and will. According to your lens, or it could be negative as well. But positive and negative exist in duality. And this is what we have to understand. So just from our perspective, to tame our mind towards it, consider in these three steps. 
ایک ہو گیا صبر اینڈ صبر آلموسٹ مینس بیئرنگ دا پیشنس اور بیئرنگ ایٹ سسٹیننگ ایٹ ہولڈنگ یور گراؤنڈ دس دس وٹ دیٹ ورڈ مینس وین سم تھنگ نیگیٹو ہیپنس یو بیئر ایٹ بٹ دیٹ ڈزنٹ نیسرلی مین یو ایکسیپٹیڈ ایٹ دیٹ ڈزنٹ نیسرلی مین یو ہیپی وتھ ایٹ بٹ اے ایک پہلی اسٹیج ہے دس دا فرسٹ اسٹیج just being able to bear it rather than react pull your hair out and go through a spiral ek gurbani thonu ek dridta baksh di hai to be able to bear to give you tiraj to give you go help you get to this level of acceptance but pehli pehli avastha hai is just sabar where if somebody passed away or you you knew that you're going to pass away let's just say somebody had cancer somebody had another illness and thonu pehla pata lag gaya ki you're you're about to pass انہوں ایک طریقے نہ صبر کر لینا ایون دیٹ فار دا مینی اٹ ول بی ویری ویری ڈیفیکلٹ دوسرے پاسے آپ آنے ہیں انہوں آپ رضا سمجھتے ہیں دس ورڈ دیٹ از یوز کوائٹ آفٹن دس از از گوئنگ ان ٹو ایکسیپٹنس آف اٹ یو ناؤ یو بگننگ ٹو ریپ یور ہیڈ اراؤنڈ اٹ اینڈ یو پلیسڈ اٹ اینڈ یو گوئنگ الانگ ود دا روڈ یو یو ایکسیپٹڈ اینڈ یو یو ایکسیپٹڈ ان ٹو یور لائف بٹ دیٹ ڈزنٹ نیسرلی مین اٹس پلیزنگ ٹو یو that you're taking as a, as a happiness, as a great news. But Piyareo, the third is what we call Shabal Taslim Vivarti Ajanda. And Taslim means complete submission and acceptance. And I make a Shabal Vivarti We use the word Darvesh quite often. Darvesh is somebody that we might consider carefree. Somebody that we consider Mastanna. somebody that we consider id rang de vich rangya hoya aaya what is the difference between that sort of carefree mind with somebody that's stressing on and holding every nitty gritty thing somebody said this about me and therefore i, I hold a grudge against it or somebody criticized me and i'm going to hold it to my chest something bad happened or somebody thinks of me and it's affecting my ego my perception of my life or myself these unsubtle attachments When you are forced to detach and you are attached, your foundation is attachment, life will force you to detach. Because remember, nothing in this world is permanent. When you are forced to detach, then you will go through a negative spiral because your foundation is built off on attachment. You're placing your hopes and dreams on the things that are not permanent. But if your foundation is detachment, then you go into the world into attachment ke tere bharose pyare main laad ladaya ha maharaj tere bharose is within your i grab onto your palla i have my faith on you so then when i ride this double edged sword in this life and i play with attachment with my children and work and i live a householder's life and i'm doing my nitnam and i'm hanging out with friends maharaj protect me hold onto my hand tere bharose ya so i don't slip and fall but my foundation is knowing that this is not permanent it's detachment and you go into attachment you can rise and abo- rise above the world just like a lotus flower is above the water like the duck is above the water and doesn't and the feathers don't get wet in this way when the world does force you to detach you're already in detachment ke maraj e tere paane vich si it's pleasing to me i've accepted it i'm in complete submission to you pyareo aat prab ki aagya aatm hit aave the person that is accepted parmatma's hukum hirde vich jaan li pehchan li parmatma mere tere vich me and this is is really good to understand this because this question comes a lot why do bad things happen to good people i'm sure you've asked this question or many people ask this question real question you have to reframe the question altogether what is considered good and why why do we consider things bad and start from there good and bad considered what pak parmeshwar di khed vich te mar hum nahi change bura nahi ke je banda changa mara nahi hai te vikar ha agyanta and there's prakash there's spiritual wisdom and there's ignorance and that is part of the creation the veils of falsehood that maraj it place on individuals but when when we stop seeing it from an individual sense we begin it to see from a collective consciousness or a supreme consciousness that's beyond us and within us then changa mara ki hai if it's good to me or if it's good to bad something that's good to somebody else might be bad to somebody else 
ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆਮ ਇੱਕ ਉਦਾਹਰਨ ਦੇ ਤੀਜੇ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਸ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਡ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਕਾਮਨਲੀ ਇਫ ਇਟ ਰੇਨਡ ਔਨ ਦਿਸ ਵਿਦਨ ਦਿ ਸੇਮ ਵਿਲੇਜ ਵਨ ਪਰਸਨ ਇਸ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦੇਅਰ ਕ੍ਰੋਪਸ ਆਰ ਨਾਓ ਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਵਾਟਰ ਬਟ ਔਨ ਦਿ ਅਦਰ ਸਾਈਡ ਦਿ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂਸ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਇਸ ਕ੍ਰਾਇੰਗ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਨਾਓ ਔਨ ਦਿ ਡੇ ਆਫ ਦਿ ਵੈਡਿੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਕ੍ਰਾਇੰਗ ਬਟ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਦਾ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੋ ਸੀ ਗੁਰ ਚੰਗਾ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਮਾੜਾ ਸੀ ਇਟਸ ਬੇਸਡ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਇੰਡੀਵਿਜੂਅਲ ਪਰਸੈਪਸ਼ਨ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਚੰਗਾ ਕਿ ਮਾੜਾ ਸੀ ਸੰਬਡੀਜ਼ ਕਾਰ ਐਕਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਅਲੋਂਗ ਦਿ ਰੋਡ and it is the most devastating day of their life because maybe their family member passed away in that car accident and for somebody else it's an inconvenience all oh, google maps says it's a red line i'm going to be late for work 5 minutes koi zyada fark nahi na paya based on the action and based on the perception of the self par e de vich ki parmeshwar tera hukm hai jo ho reha hai e mara tenu pa reha mere hirde nu paage the word pa paana comes from the word paya pleasing to the heart maraj your command is pleasing to me not in the sense i have to force myself to accept it do you see how it's not just a state of mind or ideology now this in itself is an avastha it's a spiritual state to be able to see that and this happens through bhakti this happens through simran in the previous pada in the first pada we spoke about all about bhakti who is considered a bhagat ਭਗਤ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਪਰਸਨ ਦੈਟ ਹੈਸ ਲਿਵ देयर ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਨ ਭਗਤੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਨੰਗੀ ਆ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਰੰਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੰਗਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਭਗਤ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਪੁਰਖ ਸੋਈ ਜਿਸ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਭਾਣਾ ਭਾਵੈ ਸੱਚੀ ਗੱਲ ਆ ਭਾਣਾ ਉਹੀ ਮੰਨ ਸਕਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪਰਮੇਸ਼ਰ ਦਾ ਦਰਸ਼ਨੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਦ ਪਰਸਨ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅਬ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਦ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਰਸ ਕਮੈਂਡ ਵਰਕ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਇਟਸ ਥਰੂ ਦ ਗੋਲਡ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਡਰਟ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਦ ਸੇਮ sometimes in being hot and cold being the same the vary and the mitter being the same meaning that the foe and the friend they are the same age time space all of these going beyond that into the your surti connecting to the akal and amik sakhi the siege and the end i know you have probably heard it before so i'll very briefly say because time is running short as well by pikhari ji there are great gursik pai gurmukh singh went to guru arjan dev ji maharaj and they asked guru arjan dev ji maharaj ke aaj vi tusi gurbani vich eh avastha da zikr karde ha you say jo nar dukh mein dukh nahi manne sukh usne ar bhay nahi ja ke kanchan mati manne that some these great saints that consider gold and dust to be the same they consider hot and cold to be the same friend and foe pain and pleasure to be the same is that equilibrium inner state of of spiritual being still exist today they're asking them then and you might ask well it doesn't exist in the modern day i'm here to tell you it does it does exist today because they read the same japji sahib then that we read today they read the same sukhmani sahib then that we read today koi fark ta paya nahi sure they didn't have tiktok back then thank god par ho vakriyan cheezan si giyan par japji sahib ohi bani sade kol ya in fact we have it on the palm of our hands Just imagine you casually open your phone one day you sat on the couch and without without realizing you just spent an hour scrolling through Sukhni Sahib and you got a Sukhni Sahib the part done but that doesn't happen right you spend an hour on TikTok you spend an hour on Facebook and Instagram but just imagine you casually you didn't even realize it but like you know accidentally you read us an asadivar the part oh you sat there for 3 days and you binged a sahaj part by accident nahi na hunda ਪਰ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮਨ ਦੀ ਅਵਸਥਾ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਭਾਰਿਆ ਕੀ ਆ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਵੀ ਰੀਲੀ ਰੀਲਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਪਲੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਮਾਈਂਡਸ ਸਾਡਾ ਮਨ ਆਲਸੀ ਆ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕਰਨੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਸਬਰ ਆ ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਸਿਲ ਲੂਣੀ ਚਟਣੀ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਇਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਿਕਿੰਗ ਅ ਟੇਸਟਲੈਸ ਰੌਕ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਰੀਡ ਦ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਬਟ ਇਵੈਂਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਟ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਟੇਸਟਫੁਲ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਲਿਕ ਦ ਰੌਕ ਇਵੈਂਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਟ ਬਿਕਮਸ ਟੇਸਟਫੁਲ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਦ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਯੂ ਨੀਜ਼ ਹਰਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਦ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਚਸ ਐਂਡ ਲਰਨ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਹਾਰਡ ਟੂ ਡੂ Sometimes you have to break the barriers and come into sangat even though you think somebody are judging you but really everyone is just thinking about their selves themselves anyways aap sare dukh guru ko leke aaye ya and guru you will realize that the guru has their hand on top of your head the ras aajuga dusri meri beinti si pai pikhari ji sorry pai gurmukh singh asked this pai gurmukh ji asked this question to guru arjan dev ji ke do gurmukhs with this avastha this state of mind exist today and they said yes they do go to that village go to pai pikhari ji's house they went to pai pikhari ji's house and it was their son's wedding celebrations happening at that time during their son's celebration they were sitting there and cutting wood 
they're almost creating something with wood. And in the evening, everybody is gathering. The women are wearing beautiful clothes. Great food is being served. Everyone's laughing and meeting and greeting each other. In the evening, the night before the wedding, they did ardas and they say, Satya Pacha, bless us so that we can accept your will. Everything is within your will. The next day, the wedding takes place. Soon after the wedding, the sun passes away. The sun whose wedding it was, that sun passes away. Now the same marriage party is a funeral party. They're all gathering and that wood that Pai Pekhariji was cutting, he turned that wood into a coffin. And Pai Gurmukhji is sitting there in the, visiting this village and thinking, it seems like Pai Pekhariji knew this was going to happen. It seemed like they knew. They went and asked them. In that, in that evening, they did Ardas. Pai Pekhariji did. And they say, Satya Pacha, bless us so we can learn to accept your will. And let us live in your will and your, your will is pleasing to us. Pai Bukhariji did the same ardas the first day that they did the second day. Pai Gurmukhji asks, he says, Pai Sabji, it seems to me that you knew that your son was going to pass away. Pai Bukhariji said, Guru Sahib ne kirpa ki thi, and yes, I knew. Guru Sahib showed me. They said, well, if you knew, why didn't you do ardas for your son to live? Because somebody like you with such a great status spiritually, and such a loving relationship with Guru Sahib Ji, why would Guru Sahib Ji ever turn down your ardas? Bariyo, this is something really deep to understand within our mind. If you have the greatest connection, sometimes in this world we say, ah, don't worry, I got connections, I know the Prime Minister, I can get my way. Some people say, ah, don't worry, I know the committee, the Pradhan, I know I can get my way. Some people say, oh, no, no, I know the, I know the mayor, I can get my, or the, I know the CEO of the company, don't worry, I can get my way. They, you might think, well, in spirituality, well, if somebody is so connected to Guru Sahib Ji, and Guru Sahib Ji can change and create karma and do whatever, if they, they can write for that one mata, they can create, give birth to that one child, and accidentally turns into a seven, and that mata ji, Guru Hargobind Maharaj, blessed seven sons to that mata ji. We read in history. Maharaj sab kuch lekhe badal sakde ya. Backwards lekhe karma can be switched into straight karma, but then why does Pai Pekhari Ji by Gurmukh Ji asked, why did you not ask? Why did you not just ask for your son to live? They said, Kyunke eh marada paana nahi si That is not, that in, that, then I'm expressing my, my desire. I'm not saying that Ga Akalpur, your desire is pleasing to me. I'm saying you must accept or please accept my desire, my paana. I'm not enforcing that. Pehra, and this is a state of mind. If Pai Pakhari Ji did ask, I'm sure, the Guru Sahib ne kirpa kar nahi si but it's the state of mind and avastha we have to realize. Jede parameshwar da hukum samaj jande na, everything is good. Koi maari jeej hundi nahi. Aavan jana hukum te seka. Coming and going into this world is hukum. It is pleasing. Once you realize it, then you're in the state of bliss. It's not about the external factors that give you happiness. And if you continue to rely on the external factors, Pyaariyo meri bhenti ya. It's my request for, for us to understand. You will soon realize that no matter where you go in the world, you will never find a foundation of inner bliss. If you, ex ex if you say, my husband will make me happy. If you say, my children will make me happy. Or if you say, if I go to Florida or Miami or Spain and that place like the beaches and the palm trees and all of these beautiful sceneries and the waterfalls. If I go there, I will be happy there. Once you go there, you realize, oh, thibi sokha nahi hai. You realize, oh, thibi nahi sokha hai. Par jena ne andar da anand paalia na. Those matama, they had their children stripped from their hands, thrown into the air, and they landed on spikes. And guess what those matama did in the evening when their children were cut into bits? And I'm not trying to be graphic here or anything. I'm just, it's there to realize what we consider pain and pleasure. When those children are cut upon, their newborn children that were still breastfeeding, cut into a necklace and put around their necks, they do ardas in the evening and say, Satya Pacha. Four phases of the day, meaning 12 hours of the day, have gone by in bliss. May these next four phases or the next 12 hours of the night, may they go in bliss as well. Itira <laughs> 
ਪਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੰਨਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੁੱਖ ਆਇਆ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਈਜ਼ੀ ਟੂ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਐਂਡ ਲਿਵ ਇਨ ਗੋਡਸ ਵਿਲ ਫਰਮ ਆਵਰ ਪਰਸਪੈਕਟਿਵ ਬਟ ਥੋਸ ਦੈਟ ਡੂ ਲਿਵ ਇਨ ਇਟ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਜਸਟ ਇਨ ਅਨੰਦ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਹੀ ਅਨੰਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਭਾਈ ਪਿਖਾਰੀ ਜੀ ਨਿਊ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਫੇਰ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਦਾ ਪਾਣਾ ਆਇਆ ਕਿਸ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਰਾਈ ਰਿਜ਼ਨ ਅਬਵ ਪੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਪਲੇਜ਼ਰ ਨਾਉ ਕਨੈਕਟਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਹਰ ਪਾਣਾ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਪਾਣਾ ਗੁਰ ਪਾਇਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਇਹ ਤਮੀ ਨਮੀ ਨੂੰ ਅਨੰਦ ਮੈਂ ਚੱਲਿਆ ਅੱਜ ਥਾਈ ਮਾਈ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਇਨ ਅਨੰਦ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਇਥੇ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੀ ਸਮਾਪਤੀ ਇਨ ਅ ਕਪਲ ਆਫ ਮਿਨਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੋਗਰੂ ਸਮਾਪਤੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਦੀਨ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਮਾਲਕ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਵਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਦੇ ਉਦਾਸੀ ਫਰਮ ਪਲੇਸ ਟੂ ਪਲੇਸ ਟੂ ਪਲੇਸ ਦੇ ਅਰਾਈਵਡ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਲਵੰਡੀ they had not seen their mother and father in 12 years guru nanak dev ji jadon udasiyan te nikle 12 saal beet gaye ghar tak koi khabar nahi payi hai keep in mind there's no face time whatsapp video calls they can they can call mata tripta ji and say han ji mata ji main hun chalo agle mahine aa reha ha there is no connection there's no there's no way that mata ji can try it's been 12 years then that the parents had not seen guru nanak dev ji maharaj 12 years they arrive back in talwandi the mother and father go running out to meet guru nanak dev ji maharaj they convince them kyunki maran ne thoda ja parda phir bhi paake rakhya that is maharaj's command the sachi paacha that they had left a little veil of, of of illusion upon the mind of their mother and father sometimes they would lift it and give them gyan and sometimes they would put it back this is what we need to realize ki maharaj is not we make as much efforts that we can we fall at the feet of sachi paacha and we ask for meher har priya swami ke dware dije budh babeka we need to fall at the feet at the sanctuary of guru sahib ji accept everything pehla marna kabool jeevan ki shad aas ho sab na ki ren ka ta oh hamare paas become the dust of all this is where sikhi begins to be able to begin into this path of acceptance go into raza and then have everything pleasing to you so guru nanak dev ji maharaj is being met with their mother and father Mata ji is is crying hugging the child Mata Baba Kalu ji is hugging Guru Nanak Dev ji as well they bring them into their home kare lianda prasada sikaya many days go by and after many days Baba Kalu ji go, go back to Guru Nanak Dev ji and begin to convince them to leave this fakir the darvesh path that they're on stay within the home bring Mata Sulakhni ji back and take care of the children because the mother and father said assi hun bujurg ho gaye hain we're old now it's we're old when we're going to we're going to die soon but their mind of baba kalu ji was still where in the business or what about my legacy or about my family or about all the wealth that i created throughout this very subtly even though baba kalu ji was very wise both with vaan sige they were very scholar and they knew nothing in the world is going to go with them anyways but fir vi madak ja padda si ke pot hun tu kare reh ke zimmewari saam that subtle attachment guru nanak dev ji maharaj ਜਦੋਂ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਲੰਗਰ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਧੂਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕਰਾਇਆ ਬਾਬਾ ਕਾਲੂ ਜੀ ਵੁਡ ਡੂ ਆਨ ਅ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੈਟ ਡਾਊਨ ਬਿਸਾਈਡ ਥਮ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਆਸਕਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਫੂਡ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਕਾਲੂ ਜੀ ਸੈਡ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਫੂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਮਾਈ ਐਂਸੈਸਟਰਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਹੰਗਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਸੱਚੇ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਸੈਸ ਅੱਛਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਆ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਵੇਅਰ ਯਰ ਐਂਸੈਸਟਰਸ ਆਰ and baba ji kalu ji says acha ha kidda i would love to see tenu pata kithe ya guru nanak dev ji maharaj says ji dekhna chahunge close your eyes and let's take you there guru nanak dev ji held the hand of their father this is the moment where guru nanak dev ji blessed their own father baba kalu ji with brahm gyan they held their hand closed their eyes and took baba kalu ji straight to sachkhand and when they entered sachkhand they walked it there was the great golden doors andar uthe akal purakh da darbar sajya hoya with the many many takhts of the many many great saints and outside there's many golden houses and palaces jithe ture ja rahe ha this beautiful subtle play baba kalu ji there they see their father they see their grandfather they see their great grandfather they see more and more many many generations and what do they all say they say tan baba kalu ji tan baba kalu ji you are great you are great and baba kalu ji says why am i great they said because in because of your bhakti in your many previous lives and many ardasan that you've done you begged akal purak to enter your home as your son you did this request that akal purak i've served you oh creator oh rab i served you as a child i've served you as a slave i've served you as a warrior but maharaj bless me one life i've never served you as a father before can anybody in this world claim i am the father of god 
ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦਾ ਪਰ ਬਾਬਾ ਕਾਲੂ ਜੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਦ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਲਿਨੀਏਜ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਆਲ ਦੀ ਐਂਸੈਸਟਰ ਸੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਕਾਲੂ ਜੀ ਤੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਨਿਆ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਇਨਟੂ ਯੂਰ ਹਾਊਸ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਲਿਬਰੇਟਡ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਸਾਡੀ 21 ਕੁਲਾਂ ਤਰ ਗਈਆਂ ਔਰ 21 ਲਿਨੀਏ ਲਿਨੀਏਜ ਦੀ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਬਿਦੀ ਕੁਲ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਲਿਬਰੇਟਡ ਬਾਬਾ ਕਾਲੂ ਜੀ ਫੈਲ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਆਨੰਦ देयर that everybody was doing simran the simran da anandi ho reya siga they felt it in their heart and then guru nanak dev ji maharaj brought them back down into the world surti karke shreer to uthi siga their body was still there they opened their eyes and guru nanak dev ji never put the parda back on their eyes and baba kalu ji says ke wo jehda mere mainu maut da dar si na the thing that i was waiting for oh i think i'm old i'm going to die now that doesn't exist anymore cuz they said that now they're not referring to guru nanak dev ji as their son they're saying it to the rabb hai you are you are god hon main oh jehda anand utthe mehsoos kita na the anand and the bliss that i felt there in sachkhand i want to go back there i quickly want to go back there but this is the state of those saints that are feeling the anand they're not attached to this world they're detached oh the kinde maharaj pani sadda sheti aave i want to go when you send me When you send me this call to leave this world Maharaj I'm coming I'm running towards you I'm feeling it now or the surti karke they can come and go gurmukh sahib ji aao jo they can come and go as they as they please Pandit Nityanand came into Guru Har Gobind Maharaj's darbar did katha that it takes one year through the Ved Puran it takes one year to get to all the darga where Dharm Raj will read your court they explained their entire katha and then the gursik sit afterwards and they say that uh, the pand pandit said it takes one year one good success well i'll go there in 6 months and i'll come back the other one says i'll do it i'll do i'll go there and touch such kind i'll touch darga the court of tarmaraj in one month and come back the other one says one month i'll do it in one day the other one says no nah, i'll do it in one hour the other the last one says one hour i'll do it in the blink of an eye i'll go there touch tarmaraj tell him what's up and come back right away and pandit nityanand or overheard that says how can these gursik say this because my ved puran say it will take one year they ask guru har gobind maharaj they say maharaj sachi pacha are your gursik lying or are my vedas lying because only one can be true does it take one year or can they go back and come back in the blink of an eye and guru har gobind maharaj laughs and they say donne sahi hai ha aam bande waste for somebody it might take jam ka thinga bura hai oh nahi sahi aa jaye bada okha hai that journey towards the ramraj the court sometimes with the lutmar bhi hundi they take your good deeds many things will happen along the way it takes one year for the regular person but in the guru da hath hai they can do as they please <laughs> this is the beauty of this baba kalu ji the father of guru nanak dev ji mara says oh kalpur oh guru nanak dev ji i do not want to live in this world i want to go back there quickly and guru nanak dev ji responds baba ji did where you've lived your entire life attached to this world why don't you live one or two more days dok din hor ki hai the one the one of us that one state of mind say i don't want to leave this world i'm scared to leave this world and within a split second they say i can i don't want to stay here even a lo- day longer i want to quickly go back to that bliss Baba Kalu ji sits in the corner for 2 days kyunki jadon rab da hukm hai odon jana hai Baba Kalu ji cannot choose when they want to go jadon hukm hoga but they now knew when the day was going to come 2 3 days passed they sat in their in the room in and on the smadhi ilake did simran for 2 days straight then the time came when they left their body guru nanak dev ji maharaj with their own hands they did sanskar of their father here guru amar das ji maharaj khud 94 95 years old about to leave this world is har paan ha gur paaya ha mera har prabh kare saab vas ji ho akal purakh is saying tan tan i am great i am great akal purakh is giving tan ta jog to guru amar das ji maharaj saying aaja it's time to come the family is gathering bhagat satgur purakh so it is har prabh paana paave only that person can be considered a true saint a true bhagat satguru hi oh avastha pa sakda jinna ne hari da paana pa liya those that have experienced this will and they live in this world everything in this world it becomes bliss anand anhad vajah vaje aha har prab aap milav gal milave parmeshwar the creator themselves this internal bliss anhad vaje but inner bliss is happening within our heart anhad vaje the unstruck celestial sounds play within your ear where you experience it and this the sounds of this world and the pains of this world are you're not experiencing anymore akal pur the creator themselves hug you close and merge you within themselves and guru amar das ji maharaj says to their 
to their family they say tusi put bhai parivar mera you are my family tusi mere bhotiyan parbhaiyan mere parivar hai you are my family man vekho karan rajas jiyo look deep within my heart look deep within your heart and you will recognize what i say is true to reh likhya parwana phir hai nahi because akalpurakh what they have written it is parwana what they have written is accepted ਗੁਰ ਜਾਇ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਪਾਸ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਵੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸੈਸ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨੇ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਣ ਲੱਗਾ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਪਦਾ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਹੁਣ ਮੇਰੇ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਆਫਟਰ ਆਈ ਗੋ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮਰਿਆਦਾ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨ ਮੋਰ ਬਟ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਇੱਥੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਪ੍ਰਵਾਨ ਕਰਨੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੀ ਸਮਾਪਤੀ ਆ ਵਾਲ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਵਾਲ ਸਪੀਕਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਮੇਡ ਮੈਨੀ ਮਿਸਟੇਕਸ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਕਥਾ ਅਗਲੇ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਮੇਰੀ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਸ਼ੇ ਦਵਾਨ ਸੀਗੇ ਗੁਰਮੁਖਾਂ ਨੇ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਥਰੂ ਈਚ ਆਫ ਦ ਦਵਾਨਸ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਪਦੇ देयर ਆਰ 6 ਟੋਟਲ ਐਂਡ ਰਾਮਕਲੀ ਸਾਦ ਦੀ ਕਥਾ ਮੈਂ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਵਨ ਦੇ ਹਰਡ ਥਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਫ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਗਿਵ ਦਿਸ ਸਰੋਪਾ ਟੂ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਡ ਤੇ ਬਾਬਾ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਦੈ ਹੂਐਵਰ once somebody passes away if this bani ramkali sad meaning the sad the call of death if this is read after somebody passes away that ohna nu jama to mar to bhi bacha ho sakda hai that they can be saved from the the, the beatings of the messengers of death as well gurbani teaches us so much to the depths and pyare maharaj kripa kan that we actually can dive in and really truly understand implement into our lives gurbani is not just a philosophy gurbani is not just something that we believe in the back of our mind it is something that we want to become that we want to live and experience while alive sat gur ki bani sat sroop hai gurbani bani hai so pyareo ethe bintiyan parwan karniyan bhulla chukkan di khima akhir liyan apa do pangtiyan sarvan karke apa fate di sanj pauni hai please bless me with your grace bless me with your assisa so that we can continue doing this seva aao pyareo rasna pavitra kariye ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੁੱਤ ਭਾਈ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਮਨ ਵੇਖੋ ਕਰ ਨਿਰਜਾਸ ਜੀਓ ਤੁਰ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਪਰਵਾਣਾ ਫਿਰੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗੁਰ ਜਾਏ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਪਾਸ ਜੀਓ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ If you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe please donate and help spread guru ji's message link is in the description below wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh wahe guru